back to my channel hope you're all doing well first of all i wasn't actually planning on doing an intro to this video but then this happened my eye has not stopped streaming it's gone all red don't know if you can see so i thought i'd do a little intro and explain the disaster that's happened in front of me i am absolutely devastated because i am in love with this makeup look and this has ruined everything i'm actually going out straight after filming this video and I just don't I just don't know what to do I might just wipe it all off and go with nothing that is what I'm dealing with today if anyone knows anything about eyes my eyes constantly water when when I put makeup on and um, I have really sensitive eyes if anyone knows any tips or tricks to stop this happening please please let me know below I will greatly greatly appreciate it but apart from that welcome to my video Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am um, today I have gone for a nice sort of sultry, glam, bright lip look. I'm ready for spring early because it is cold AF outside today. But yeah, so that's all from me today. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe. But without further ado, if you want to learn how to do this look minus the watery sitch, please stay tuned. So I'm going to go in with my Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow in Rust. Now this is from the Rust stash. I'm just going to press that on all through the crease. This is going to be one of my darker colours today. And I like to go in with a darker colour first and then blend it out with a lighter colour. So I'm just pressing it down first with this crown brush. Like a sort of flat one. But then I'm just using the tip of the brush to slightly buff out that line. Just to blend it ready for the transition shade that I'll be going in with next. So I am dipping into my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette, I haven't used this palette for a very long time but I'm just going to take that shade Bestie and I'm just going to use that on a fluffier brush just to blend out that first eyeshadow and make that act as more of a transition shade. So I'm just bringing that up a lot higher than I brought Rust, going back and forth in circular motions with that brush to blend out the line and build up the colour. Then I'm going back in with Rust just to bring that back. I am taking it a little bit higher this time uh, just because I didn't like where it was sitting. It needs to, needs to come up a little bit higher above my crease. Again, just packing the colour on and then using the tips of the brush just to blend the line out. Then going back in with Bestie and just lightly buffing off the edge. Then I'm going to deepen the crease with the shade Rot from Melt Cosmetics from the same Rust stack. And just on this small Morphe brush, I'm just focusing that directly in the crease line. Just to make sure that it stays, the product stays there and the colour is there. That's the deepest colour. So I'm going back in with a touch of rust on that previous brush just to blend off that line and make sure all the colours are married together nicely. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline colour tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze. Now I'm using this cream shadow to act as a base for the pigment I'm going to go in with. These are incredible cream shadows for drugstore. So I'm just packing that on the lid, just taking it to just below my crease line with just this little flat concealer brush. Then I'm just going to set that whole lid down using this Topshop Chameleon Glow Eyeshadow in Shuffle the Cards, which is just this gorgeous bronzy pinky sort of duochrome. It didn't really pick up on film, but in real life it looked absolutely unreal. Just had this slight pink tinge to it. Then I'm just taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just patting that over the lid on this concealer brush just to make sure the pigment stays locked in place all day. So I am taking my Lord & Berry Lip Liner Pencil in Bark and just lightly lining the upper lash line. Just wanted something a little bit extra there but I didn't really want, want to go in with black. I wanted to keep it quite browny and bronzy today. 
So I have gone ahead and popped on some lashes and filled in my under eye and then that's when my eye betrayed me. But I am just going to start my skin with my MAC strobe cream in pink light and I'm just lightly brushing that on using this foundation brush. This adds a nice glow to the skin and it adds a bit of moisture to the skin as well. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a moisturiser. For foundation, I'm going to take a mixture of my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in porcelain and my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade 110. I like to mix these two together because they're both like heavy coverage but they're both, uh, one's too light for me, one's a bit too dark for me. So I do like to mix them together, they're both nicely, like nice finishes. So I'm just painting that on all over the skin using this foundation brush from Peaches and Cream. And I like to do this technique to get like, a, I feel like I get a better full coverage out of it. So I paint it on with a brush first and then lightly pounce over that with my beauty sponge just to press it into the skin and get rid of any, you know, streaks from the brush. And right there is when I noticed how red and bloodshot my eye had gone. I have no idea what happened, but it just betrayed me all day. For concealer, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape, as always, in the shade Fair. And just highlighting those under eyes. And then all the other usual spots, the cupid's bow, the chin, the centre of the forehead, and then down the bridge of the nose. Then I'm just bouncing that in using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Then just for closer to the eye, I'm going in with this fluffy brush from Morphe's Eye Credible set. And just using that to buff the product a little bit up closer to the eye. I find this a lot easier than going in with a sponge because once you hit it with the sponge it sort of takes away the blend of the underneath of the eye. So we're going in with a bit of cream contour and I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the shade 220 Toffee Caramel. I'm just using that on the cheekbones, the jawline and the forehead. Now a little does go a long way with this foundation stick if you're thinking of getting it. Like just look how much it, it spreads once you start blending. Then just patting that back with my sponge again just to get rid of any harsh lines. Just watching Tally there, casually. As always, I'm taking my RCMA No Colour Powder as well and just drying down the under eye. Powdering down the under eye, sorry, not drying down. And then just taking a touch on my Morphe sponge and just baking underneath that contour line. Coming in with my Kiko Milano Baked Bronzer in Sun Celebration Honey just on this Peaches and Cream Fluffy Brush and I just like to bronze up, I do like to take it in circular motions and bring it up sort of onto the apples of the cheeks slightly then all along the forehead and along the jawline and I did forget to zoom out for my skin here but I do, I do fix it eventually For contour, I'm going to take this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. There we go, we zoomed out finally. Just on this Morphe R13, just to deepen up where we've bronzed. And then running it just up the sides of the nose to bring some dimension back. For blush, I'm going to dip into my Morphe 9M Blush Palette. As we know, I do not sort of just pick one colour. I just sort of go a bit ham with it and dig into nearly them all. Now it's time for my favourite part, it's highlight. So I'm going to be taking a mixture of my Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Glazed Donut and then just popping a touch of the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter in Pink Shimmer just to add a touch of pinkiness to it. 
So I am going in first with the Ofra highlighter and just popping that on all the usual spots. The cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of the nose, the chin and then just sort of along the temples above my eyebrows. Then just add in a very slight touch of that pink shimmer just to bring a nice bit of pinkiness to my highlight. Then I'm using the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter just to highlight my inner corners. Now for lips, this is probably the only reason I did this whole video. I'm taking my Kiko Milano Lip Liner Pencil in the shade 511, just this sort of gorgeous corally colour. I was so excited by this lip combination, just using this paired with the brown smoky eye just got me so excited. So I'm just lining the lips as always, I always like to start with the Cupid's bow. And then I'm going in with my NYX Liquid Suede in Foiled again, this beautiful corally liquid matte. And one of my favourite things is this Primark Peach Oil Lip Gloss, which actually smells like peaches, it's unreal. In Peach Me this shade is, I'm just popping that on over the top. Then I'm just setting everything in place using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I completely forgot to brush off my beak underneath my contour after, before it set, so don't be silly like me and forget that. So I'm just dusting that away and look at the state of that eye. But what can you do about it? Okay, and that is all for today. And again, I do apologise for this whole thing going on here. I'm absolutely devastated about it. It just will not stop at all. Doesn't look too bad from straight on, but I hope you enjoyed this video today. Sort of a little bit glam, bit colourful to brighten up a little dull February day. So if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload if you want to subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye!